the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen As usual, it's a delight to be able to welcome everyone, uh, whether you're regular, whether you're trying us out, whether you're visiting, it's good to have you with us on this, the third Sunday of We remember the goodness of God as we say sorry for things we do wrong. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day. 
and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, O Christ. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So as usual, come and gather at the front so you can hear and see what's about to happen. to life. We've seen it. We've talked to him. But this lot was saying, nah, not possible, won't happen. Can't happen, hasn't happened, he's dead. Finito, end of story, full stop, period, everything. He was gone. Their best friend, their teacher, their lord, dead. And then, completely out of the blue, not even in a big puff of smoke, he appears, complete with beard. Stand up, Scott, please. Useful, having organised so you can just spring things on. So he turns up whilst they're having breakfast. Hands up if you've had breakfast this morning. Hands up if you've had breakfast on a beach this morning. <laughs> because that's what they were doing. They were having their breakfast on a beach. Hands up if you had for your breakfast this morning a piece of fish. <laughs> As someone who is alert so that's very sensible of all of you, not to have fish for your breakfast. But that's what they were doing. Jesus appeared. He went, come on, come here, come here, come here. Come on, Jesus, come here, come here. He turned up, and they went, uh, no, that's not really him. What we're seeing here isn't a real person. What we're seeing is a ghost, not real at all. And Jesus said, it is me. Ghosts don't have flesh. You can't touch them. You can't hear them speak. You can't see them. It's me. I'm real. I'm alive. But do you know something? They still would not believe. So, what is the one of the few things that ghosts don't do? What is it? What, what will ghosts not need to do? Eat. So Jesus said to them, Look, I'm going to prove to you, Lot, once and for all, that I am real. I am alive. I'm here. I'm not a ghost. Have you got a piece of ice sponge? I was not going to provide a piece of raw fish for Scott. 
Struck Jesus. Shall to eat at the front. Just to prove Scott is real, that he's not a ghost. The disciples had to have it proved to them as Jesus was scoffing his piece of broiled fish that he was real, that God had brought him back to life, that they could go up to him and go, oh yeah, he's real. They'd just seen him eat. Ghosts don't eat. Suddenly, they became really aware just how powerful God was. That all the things they'd been hoping for were actually going to happen. And that's the point that the disciples realised that Jesus had come back from the dead. Now, Jesus had to work really, really, really hard to get his closest friends to believe that he was real and alive. Can you see Jesus here today? Yes, he's up there. What? Who's him? Him. Well, funnily enough, yes. But you know something? I can also see Jesus here today in you. In every single person here, to, even, yeah, even you, yes. Every single person here today, even Scott, is made in the image of Jesus. The risen Jesus is present here and now, in our lives, in each and every one of us. And the thing he wants us to do is to tell everyone else about the joy and the hope and the love of being alive in him. So, if you've not had breakfast yet today, and you leave here and you go and have breakfast, there aren't really any beaches near here that you could go to, and I would not recommend eating broiled fish for breakfast. But do enjoy breakfast when you get to it.
pray the next prayer the Eucharist.
great is the mystery of faith.
through Jesus Christ our risen Lord. Amen. Once again, a very warm welcome, particularly to anyone who is visiting or trying this out. It's good to have you with us. Um, please do take away a copy of the notices or have a look at them online. The services this week are very much back to normal, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, and that goes for Sundays as well for the next few weeks. Uh, just to draw your attention to a couple of things, uh, two weeks today is the annual parochial church meeting that will take place after High Mass. Uh, and technically it's actually two meetings. The first one when we elect the church wardens, the second one uh, when we elect PCC uh, receive the accounts, that sort of thing. It doesn't sound terribly exciting, it's actually a really, really important meeting. If you can't come along, please do so. And linked to that, over in the refreshment area, there are forms for nomination for church warden and for uh, a number of elected members of the PCC. Do please have a look at them if you're able to. Um, also a reminder that if you do worship with us on a regular basis, we do encourage you to uh, give on a regular basis uh, through the parish giving scheme and there are details about that in the notices. Equally, if you want more information about that, do have a word with Marion who's sitting at the back uh, under the organ and she will be able to point you in the right direction. Also, you'll find uh, leaflets about our first quiz night of the year, which is on Friday the 3rd of May at 6.30, <coughs> I mean, for a 7 o'clock start. £15 per head, which includes a uh, supper, fish and chips, not a broil, um, sausage or veggie option. And of course, as usual, there will be a bar and there will also be a raffle. Please do book for that if you want to, either as an individual or as teams of up to eight through uh, the booking button on the website. Or again, have a word with Matt. There are refreshments served after Mass. Please do stay. And uh, if you need to. Uh, indicate your presence here to support a school application. Don't forget to sign the register, which again is at the back of the church. Oh, the other thing to say is that uh, if you want to, to end the day with a sense of peace and harmony, there will be four readings on tonight at half past six. Think of those are on the notices. The Lord be with God, who through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ has given us the victory, give you joy and peace in your faith, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this Easter time and always. Amen. Amen.